explore a world of art. Be enlightened by the brilliant works of great masters who created history with brush and canvas. We now take you on a visual voyage of European Painting Gallery of Salar Jung Museum. This gallery features the glorious 18th and 19th centuries priceless originals when Western painting was at its zenith. Recognized as one of the finest, the European Paintings Gallery of Salar Jung Museum contains an exemplary array of paintings from across Europe, Venice, France, England, Holland, Famous artists from these countries are represented here in their genuine splendor. The wonderful works on display are outstanding for their interesting choice of subject and depth of artistry. The awe-inspiring collection is further highlighted by remarkable copies of masterpieces by legendary European painters such as Raphael, Botticelli, Titian, Turner and more. The superb assemblage of about 65 Western paintings is one which amazes and delights. Artistry displayed here ranges from the grandiloquent and splendid to delicate light and effect which aim at giving pleasure to the viewers. With each painting portraying the essence and ethos of its age, the Gallery of European Painting can easily be called Salar Jung's paramount achievement. As you go through Salar Jung's Gallery of European Painting, you will realize that all the European countries that produced great works of art are very strongly represented here, like England, France, Italy, Spain and Holland. These countries saw an abundance of talent. Brilliant luminaries in the world of art like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, Botticelli, Titian, Rembrandt and others who flourished between 14th and 17th centuries are well represented in Salar Jung Museum where superb copies of their masterpieces and richly appreciated by art lovers. Legendary artists with divinely gifted skills created magnificent and marvelous works, giving the world a rich legacy of unfathomable beauty on canvas. Michelangelo, the numero uno of the Renaissance and Raphael, a prince among painters, stunned the world with their superhuman and sublime talent. of Raffles' Madonna at the museum indubitably attracts attention. There, this is the biggest museum in the Andhra Pradesh, uh, particularly Hyderabad, and that's how we came to see and we are really impressed by the uh, structures in the museum and its uh, maintainers particularly and you know, particularly white marble structures we saw on the ground floor. That's a very wonderful thing to see. The transition in the 18th century from human subjects to various themes gave rise to an explosion of creativity and changed the face of European painting with focus shifting to architecture, landscapes, animal, social themes and so on. The Larjung Museum reflects this change in all its original glory. 
the priceless assets and treasured originals which adorn this gallery belong to painters of this period. Canaletto of 17th century Italy, who painted delightful views of Venice, its streets, its buildings, its canals, was the creative genius and unrivaled master in this genre of architectural painting. The world saw Venice through his incredibly accurate depictions. One of Salajang Museum's most prized possessions is Canaletto's Piazza San Marco. The pleasant Venetian scene of a broad square, picture-perfect buildings and streets drawn with great precision of perspective for which Canaletto is famous. A richly framed original from the 1750s, this painting is the pride of the gallery. The beautiful and enchanting city of Venice seems to be the favorite subject of the prominent paintings in Salajan's gallery of European painting. So Bubbles is a delightful original by Francisco Hayes, also from 17th century Venice. A boy blowing soap bubbles, sitting under a solid Venetian arch, with the light catching the bubbles in rainbow hues, masterfully projects the joy and playfulness and gaiety of the scene. Venetian life has another aspect which has been an inspiration for many great painters. That is the aspect of romance. Salajang Museum displays a superb original by E. V. Blass titled Gossip, where the famous gondolas, parapets and romantic people with amazingly expressive attitudes seem almost lifelike. Blas is comparable with Canaletto for his brilliant class of architecture painting. A splendid set of two Venetian views by Mark Aldino, a late 18th century painter, displaying fine composition and excellent play of light further enriches Salarjan's collection of Venetian architectural paintings. Along with the original works of Canaletto, Guadi, Hayes and Blas, these treasures are worthy of display in any great museum of the world. There was a spectacular rise of landscape painting throughout the 19th century. Views of the natural world, fields, meadows, valleys, forests, lakes, streams, seas were captured in all their beauty, 
by color and brush stroke. At Salajang Museum, the ardent art lover can derive a rare experience by viewing breathtaking originals by eminent landscape painters such as Turner, Constable, Burkitt and Foster. Displayed with pride in Salajang Museum is Turner's Geneva Lake a signed original watercolour painted in 1820. An entrancing landscape by the legendary English painter portrays a sense of peace and calm with mountains in the distance, sandy shore and picnickers completely in harmony with each other. John Constable's focus was on the natural English landscape that he idolized in his paintings. Now priceless in their value, Salarjung Museum has two oil original sketches of Constable showcasing the beauty and power of nature. The vivid green meadows, natural freshness, natural light and the unpredictable wet English atmosphere. He was the first painter in the 19th century to use palette and knife to depict the epitome of classical English countryside. Representing rural English settings with grain charm is Toulon from La Garonne, a scene of rippling waters and rural scene depicted in sparkling gem-like colours by Burkitt Foster, another 1870 watercolour original which makes us wonder at the insatiable collector's zeal of Salarjung, who explored European painting in such great depth. The museum has a good selection of genuine originals of other English nature painters too. Ruffled seas, sandy landscapes and riversides are realistically depicted in the works of B.W. Leader, C. Stanfield and Creswick. Italy and European painting are inseparably linked and 20 golden views of Italian landscapes painted by C. Marco and Agostini in the 19th century add greater luster to this magnificent collection of Salarjan. Greek classics have always had a mesmerizing appeal for artists and Salajang Museum has a wonderful collection of paintings by famous English and French painters like Leighton, Watts, Almatadima, Pointer, Herbert Smays of England and Borguro of France. Ariant abandoned by Theseus, the Salarjung Museum's original work of Leighton is one of the five pictures he contributed to Royal Academy in 1868. Framed in a classical frame and painted on a huge canvas, this work of Leighton shows Ariant, a Greek woman abandoned by her lover, Theseus. In the picture, Ariant is seen lying lifeless on a rock promontory. The gloomy sea water, the unfilled skyline, sparsely added details serve to emphasize the death that has overtaken Ariant. But death does not wane the elegance and beauty of the mythical lady. Particularly impressive is the treatment of transparent drapery and the ivory-hued body.
hide and seek another striking oil painting showing two maids playing in a beautiful roman garden is the work of another english classical painter tadima as well as hush baby a charming depiction showing a child asleep in a wicker basket and the mother sitting nearby Orpheus and Eurydice, a Greek classical tragedy, has been powerfully painted by George Frederick Watson in the 1890s. Watts believed in aesthetic classicism and dealt with subjects that had a moral. The painting depicts Eurydice dying because her husband disobeyed the gods. the choice of colors the broken strings of the musical instruments and detached flower stalk symbolized the tragedy the same orpheus the god of music is seen playing the lute is in another canvas by edward pointer dated 1915 a delightful original with bright colors and a cheerful joyous outlook lifts the mood instantly two more classical works deserve our attention the awakening of galicia by herbert smays where a marble statue by greek sculptor pygmalion is seen coming to life as answer to his prayers Salarjung intended to encompass the entire gamut of European painting in his collection and towards this end he included paintings of commonplace items and social themes in his collection a signed work by sir david wilkie a well known english painter the scolding is a fine example of immortalizing ordinary occurrences on canvas the girl in the picture is being reprimanded for loitering the depiction of the domestic life of the common people children at play girls at needlework etc received excellent treatment at the hands of a french painter jbs chardin in his huge oil painting titled still life shown in the museum Chardin painted pots and pans, plates and fruit bowls, dead game and implements of hunting, all laid helter skelter in the kitchen. A boy seated at window takes a happy look at the booty. A fine balance of elements and the beautiful effects of light rendered on the objects and their studied arrangement is astonishing. As for paintings of animals, Sir Edwin Landseer's The Watchful Sentinel of a black dog guarding a package is superbly done with every hair of the dog painted in detail.
three other animal paintings in Salajang Museum are T.S. Cooper's Oils of Sheep in various settings. The great accuracy and proportions of the animals pay rich tribute to the talent of these two painters who excelled in this style. Stable scenes by Verschwer, a Dutch artist displayed at the Salajang Museum, testify his talent in depiction of horses. Salajang left no subject untouched, and his comprehensive collection of European paintings. Every piece on display telling the story of a man who did not want to remain unremembered. A man who wanted a world of beautiful things and created his own rare and exquisite heaven, the Salajang Museum. A visual voyage comes to an end as we complete our enlightening tour of Salajang Museum's gallery of European paintings. We are sure you would like to visit this museum and spend long hours admiring the superb works of great artists who have left indelible impressions in the chronicles of art with extraordinary display of their talent. The realistic, lifelike portraiture the thrilling details, the marvelous blend and balance of colors, the mythological mystique, the classical charm would have moved you through a gamut of emotions and moments of wonder. We are sure these memories will stay with you for all times. Next week, we will give you a feel of Eastern luxury. The finest textures of Eastern textiles and carpets will whisk you into a world of vibrant colors and patterns. This gallery of Salajang Museum spreads out the red carpet for you.